Okay guys, I'm just going to shoot some plastics. I'm going to run you through how I shoot them. It's a pretty quick process. So uh, yeah, I've got a dual shot here with dual plunger I'm going to be using. I've got my mold. Today I'm going to be shooting up some three inch paddle tails. And I've just got my uh, sort of um, my application that goes on the end to separate the plastics. So first things first, I'm going to keep the top to the front and drop that down in here, tighten her up and also chuck a clamp on it just to stop any spillage. In the microwave here I've got my plastics going. I like to drop in my separator now, makes it a little bit easier when I'm working. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to suck up a little bit of plastic when it gets out. Give it a stir then we'll suck it up and uh, yeah, give it a shot. I've just got another 15 seconds on that plastic, hopefully it's warm enough. There's a nice shot of the yak. Pretty stoked with the old yak. And uh, we should be coming out in a second. Just started working with these. I'm pretty stoked with it at the moment. Let's have a look at this one. She needs a little longer on this one. So we'll give her a mix. We've gone with a bit of a purple color. Purple with a bit of black and gold fleck. Sort of like a dark purpley color. Put him back in. And she can go back in now for about another, you know, say about another 30 seconds. So yeah, this is the new tool, new plunger, dual plunger. Just means I can get double colors going. The hardest thing is just getting the temperature. Once you've got the temperature going, you're all good. Um, but yeah, I've just got to learn the temperatures and I'll be fine. Uh, obviously got my mixing spoon and this guy just comes into action later. Over here, we've got a couple that I've already shot. That microwave's going off, so we'll grab that out. That's a little bit better. Nice. Probably a good temperature there. Give that a little swirl around. Good temperature there. We'll put those side by side. Let's go in. Oh, I'm getting a phone call from your mum. Boom. Let's go straight in over here. And let's shoot that straight away. That's felt pretty good. Lift that. Oh. Little bit of spill there. Pour out the rest. And we'll just let it all dry now. So, see, it cools down pretty quickly, this stuff. And, um, like I said, I'm still learning the temperatures to get everything. Um, and once I do that, <clears throat> I should be a little bit more proficient at it. Um, also, shooting one at a time is a bit of a problem, so I'm... Um, ordering in a six, shoot six at a time. And that's kind of what that looks like. So you can see how it sort of shoots the two different colors at the same time, which is pretty cool. Lately, I sort of haven't been getting it too good at separating it. Um, Separating the colors. I'm still mixing a little bit and I think I've got to get my temperatures right um, But you know, that's all part of it. It's all part of working with it learning your temperatures getting a feel for it um, learning how to You know shoot everything and all that sort of stuff. So let's take a look at this From the looks of it, it Looks a little bit like it mixed, but that's right that kind of mixed color is not too bad sometimes might put that one in there just because he's got a bit of purple in it. We'll see how we go. It's 
Gonna work the mold open. Try not to crack anything there. there we have it would have liked to have separated it just a little bit more next time I might let it cool down slightly but that's still not a bad little little lure there I probably wouldn't sell that at that one I'd probably just keep that for myself you can sort of see it in the water a bit better how it's separated there And there you have it, shooting plastics at home, pretty simple stuff.